knowledge. What are you going to do to create your legacy? As I said, you need to inspect what you expect. The second point is, I would encourage many of you all to watch the company you keep. Because some of us, we have some cheap company. The reason I believe that some of our company is cheap, because I really believe that when Dr. King really started going and talking and ministering and educating people on this thing of equality and race relations, do you realize that everybody that looked like him was not beside him? Some of us are hanging out with the wrong people, and they're really professional spirit snatchers. And what a spirit snatcher is, is they don't really want you to win, because if you actually win, who's going to hang out with the a loser? So you have to be real careful. Young ladies in the 21st century, 2013, you've got to make sure that this boy addresses you as a woman. Because if you don't make sure the boy addresses you as a woman, he will treat you like the. And then you want to talk about, oh, he loved me. I'm just stressed. No, you crazy. <laughs> and not only are you crazy, he's crazy er because you allowed him to do it. Now, fellas, I'm not knocking you because I'm going to come down A Street in a little bit too. So I got you covered. I'm going to keep it 100. Holler at your boy. But within that, you've got to make sure, young ladies, that you're dressing the part. You're at a community college, so you just can't go to college any kind of way. You're in high school, you just can't walk out any type of way. You're in middle school, you just can't walk out any type of way. Because if you got to do all of this and all of that, guess what? The reason that so many pro people have problems making A's and B's is because they're looking at your C's and D's. Oh, I told you I was going to keep it 100. But the issue is, if you show everybody everything, why can you not show him a piece of your mind, which he should be focused on a piece of your heart? I believe what Dr. King really wanted us to do is he wanted you to get educated. Education is the most powerful weapon on the planet. But here's what my bio did not tell you, that I was in a 12th grade reading on a 10th grade reading level. Yes, it told you that I got my master's degree in one year, which is typically not normal. But it didn't tell you that I was in a 12th grade reading on a 10th grade reading level. It also didn't tell you that I have three books and one of them is getting ready to be a New York Times bestseller. But I grew up in a place real similar to Cleveland County, little old Statesville, North Carolina. And people say, you don't sound like you're from Statesville. Watch this. What's up, y'all? <laughs> So the thing you've got to understand is what I sound like is the environment I'm going to be like. I was sharing with the group earlier, a group of kids said, oh, Mr. Griffin, you talk white. I said, wait a minute, no. Mr. Griffin talked green. <laughs> Two different conversations. Two totally different conversations. Because, see, now, how many people know that if you sit at the front, there's more momentum at the front than the back? Uh -huh. So watch what happens. Thank you for being a leader. Thank you for being a leader. And thank you for being a leader. Now, my man right here said, mm. <laughs> now, I got to get rid, rid of some more of this. Oh, caught somebody leaning up. Thank you for leaning up. Now, she might not be able to say her ABCs and one, two, threes today, but she knew what a $5 bill was. She was like, thank you. <laughs> now, you probably said, what does that have to do with the presentation? If you would have known then what you know now, everybody would have been right here. Rosa Parks made a sacrifice that we still sit at the back. Not only did she make a sacrifice, she understood it had really nothing to do with her feet being tired. It had everything to do that I believe that she was the original Popeye. He said, what do you mean she was the original Popeye? I've had all I can stand, I can't stand, no. So y'all look at the cartoons too. But then you probably said, what does it have to do? I want to make sure you understand young people and adults. The energy in synergy is always at the front of the room. See, the courage to stand up here. Everybody can criticize what they did, but how many people would take 25 minutes a day for three days in a row to study the information? Miranda got up here, and in many cases, she didn't have the ability, as many of us have, to walk. But what we have is this disease called the Y-Z-A-L, spelled backwards. Lazy. She said, I won't let whatever somebody's circumstances or my inability to do one thing allow me not to perform and speak that I have a dream today. Do you have a daydream or a real dream? Is it a nightmare or is it a freight train coming in the middle of the night? 
or have you made up your mind that you're not going to allow anybody to twist you left or right, up or down, and you have real dreams and goals?